वेलकम अगेन इन आवर वर्चुअल क्लासरूम नाउ माय टॉपिक इज ऑटो कैट वी आर गेटिंग दिस सॉफ्टवेयर फ्रॉम ऑटो डेस्क ऑटो कैट दी वर्शन दैट आई एम यूजिंग हियर इज टू जीरो टू वन इट इज अ वेरी यूजर फ्रेंडली सॉफ्टवेयर एंड वी कैन गिव द डायमेंशन मीन्स डायमेंशन एंड एवरीथिंग द कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम दैट इज अ परफेक्ट सॉफ्टवेयर for engineering drawing purpose so let's proceed this an autocad drawing several saved files are there or we can start a new so start drawing here this screen appeared there let's consider the drawing is based on a problem so we have to write down the text or problem text so the command here is here it is the place to write down the command or directly we can take it from these available options say we want to write down the text text type it and here text text read so many options are there i am choosing uh, this uh, text specify the start point where we want to write say uh, we can write down here the coordinate or it is better to click here means this is the position there it is asking specify the height 2.5 is the standard height say i am um, uh, i choose uh, 2 so give the 2 now what's the angle of the text if it is horizontal put it here zero now it is blinking means here we can write down the text we can type here like this or we can import the text let's consider i am importing this is the problem statement from a word uh, file and simply paste it control v paste now i am getting this say uh, the line is a uh, left side and uh, give an enter marks okay and again enter so this is the size uh, see it is uh, so small that not visible using your mouse scroll this scrolling gives zoom in and zoom out now how a page can be shifted you just scroll press on the scroll button then move your mouse while moving the mouse the page will shifted from one place to another place means page movement is possible now the next is to draw a line to draw a line we can select the line here or the l line command only if we type l then it's this specify the first point we can just click on any of this point or write down the coordinate here say the our coordinate is uh, 10 comma 10 means x and y coordinate enter and you find we are not getting the uh, starting point of this because where the end point we don't know just move scroll it and move yes so the coordinate axis was there this is the uh, origin and that's why it was showing like that okay now without coordinate and uh, they uh, specify the next point to complete the uh, uh, straight line next uh, let's consider the next point is 1 next point is a uh, say uh, type here at the rate of this at the rate of indicates that the last point will be considered as the starting point and from there only the 
coordinate will be counted means as if the last this point is the origin so at the rate of 0 and say it is uh, 20 ok so this is one of the method and next method is simply a uh, click here take the line and next point specify it is already taking the horizontal direction say our length record is 100 so simply type here 100 enter and to, towards uh, the downward direction we need 100 then type uh, give the mouse direction is uh, downward and then type 100 ok enter so and uh, if you want to complete it again enter so these are the two method to draw the to draw a line I have shown that uh, the with respect to the coordinate system we can type here the coordinate of the line so this is the line is selected and then the coordinate say 10 comma 10 then what is that coordinate axis first we not need to know that the 10 comma 10 that is existing here only means the, it, it is the coordinate axis now if we need to uh, move this uh, axis means coordinate axis itself so how to how it can be moved uh, give another enter or uh, click anywhere to complete the uh, line now we say this coordinate axis we want to move from here to here then our command is UCS unitary co coordinate system movement and see our XY coordinate system is moving say uh, I want to move here we can click here or specify the axis ok click then this is the position even we can uh, place the XY axis in, in inclined way also like this uh, or simply like this click then enter ok then it is fixed if you if we now give the line coordinate say uh, I am 0 comma 0 enter now it is starting from there only so this is the method to change the coordinate axis as it is the engineering drawing so unit is very important to uh, select the unit the command is un here caps lock or small uh, doesn't matter so un is the option and they give the enter and uh, then see type decimal and apart from that other option the architectural engineering fractional uh, scientific so many units is there so let's consider the decimal and the particular units uh, that is millimeter is there out of that millimeter we can select other unit also so this is the process this is the command un line text let's uh, convert that in uh, multi line use enter command okay click outside here of this text selected box now it looks good I keep enter see here it looks very small use this tall to magnify ok now it is readable Our next function is to make different layer. The layer command is there or cross it. We also can write down layer. What is layer to understand that? Say for this projection of solid, we will use various types of line. 
like continuous thick line, continuous thin line, center line, uh, projection line, so various types of lines. So what is the layer here? Uh, select new layer, okay. Give the name. It is the continuous or, or write down it is the boundary line. Boundary line. Now the feature of this boundary, what types of line is this? Continuous solid line. Okay. Then the thickness of the line. It is continuous boundary line is continuous thick. Let's consider it is 0 0.40 mm or 0 0.50 mm say. The color, click here and choose. Uh, any color. Let's consider the boundary line is the red color. Okay, so we have selected this layer. Another layer, choose. It is the projection line. Projection line. Choose. The thickness here, projection line is thin line. Let's consider the thickness is okay 0.13. The color for the projection line say green. And it is um, already decided. This line only. Again continuous line. So it is right, okay. Other line is uh, center line. Select center line. Now for the center line, it is not continuous solid line. Rather, but no other option. So load, go for load option. And then we are having various types of option choose from there which will be your center line let's consider uh, the center or or uh, this one we are choosing as the center line I have to draw in this space, but this sentence is there, so we need to move this at the top. How will move? First, select it, use your mouse from left side to right side, move by pressing it, select. After selecting, give move command, select move. Then click here and now simply move your mouse. Say I am moving up to here, up to here. Click once, now it is placed. On ASP. So before making the section, the front view is a triangle and top view is a circle. Now the distance of the cone from the ASP is not mentioned. So the top view that is the circle we can draw anywhere on the ASP. And we know this is the reference line above that it is the VP and below that it is the right ASP. Uh, let's uh, write down all this, uh, this VP, ASP and all this. We'll give the text command. Now we have drawn or defined various types of line in the layer, boundary line, projection line, center line and the construction line. Let us consider first we will draw the reference line. 
and reference line we are using as the co construction line because it is thin line and continuous line and this color is this one for that first we have to select it and click here now the right this right symbol indicates this is the current layer means whatever we will draw here then that is the that is on this layer means now we will get this type of line let's see the line you we are using the command line this is the line uh, specify the first point say this is the uh, first point and along these uh, let's consider the length of this uh, reference line is 150 enter again give another enter then it is 150 okay so this is the figure To write down VP, HP and reference line, I have used another layer and the color is white. The layer is okay. this particular layer for the text color is white and so select this as the current layer. Now cross then text text the place is this say it will be something uh, big uh, letter so uh, 5 then 0 ok now this is place I don't this V P ok, okay. then again write text layer as we want to draw the two mutual perpendicular center line so center line is the current layer now then cross and draw the center line directly take the line and uh, say along this point it is the line uh, the length is uh, say 150 center line again other enter and the second line is so up to 200 then uh, the circle go to the layer boundary this will be the current layer ok cross the circle center here a cross marking is coming miss yes now click that is the center then the radius is 37.5 ok now the circle will be divided in equal 12 division the corresponding layer we have to select it is the construction line 
so construction line should be given the as this uh, current layer right then use this circle so line it is the center the angle is mentioned here so mention the angle say it is 150 okay then another enter and similarly we will draw rest of all division lines like this center again center angle is 120 enter similarly I have done rest of the lines after completion of these all these division line will trim the division line because the division line is extended so use trim option trim then simply place your mouse and click trim trimming is complete then use uh, the name of all these division point as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Give the name of the division point from the layer. It is the text. So select it at current. Write down text. So this is the first point height uh, very small height it's better i think then height it uh, again uh, two enter no angle so zero then plus one then two So this is all the name of the points. The top view of the cone is a circle that we already have drawn. Now the front view is a triangle. As the cone is placed on HP, so the front view is the triangle who is will be started from the reference line. So first draw the projection line from this top view up to the reference line to do so select the layer as the projection line projection line is this one selected as the current layer then the line or it also can be taken from there from here to this enter and similarly draw next all the projection lines after completion of all the projection line will draw the base of the triangle boundary line use the line The height of the triangle is 80, means the height of the cone is 80, so height of the triangle is 80. Let's draw a line like 
eighty. So input is eighty. Okay. Enter. Then use the construction line. to this point and again from here it is up to this enter now this line is not necessary so we will erase this select and delete now our triangle is complete then we have to draw the cutting pen line that is intersect 35 mm so measure 35 mm from here here it is 35 up to this we have to draw a cutting plane line directly the cutting plane line means thick thin thick chain that is not available so we are drawing cutting plane line this one as the thick chain part and another layer cutting plane thin chain both is the same color but here will maintain thickness is 0.15 then we will start draw first let's uh, uh, select the thin one as the current layer draw the thin part of the line from here the angle draw big line and release okay this then we have to move this line command is uh, before moving select and then move select move then trim then the thick part go through the layer this is the thick part make it as the current layer done line this again this is the thick part angle is 45 degree enter this angle To 
12 then one comma eleven because both the point is there it is two comma ten two comma ten then this point is c and nine because all these points are overlapping uh, point one two three four five six seven in the front side and the rest of the points on the back side and here it is then draw the construction line change construction as the current layer use the line and join all the points here to the apex of the cone other name we should uh, give here say it is the o, name of the apex point is o and here also again come to the text current layer text specify this is the position angle 0 so name is say O then I have outlined the front view by the thick continuous line going through the layer so uh, remember always we will try to maintain the layer so that the line thickness and type automatically is maintained now this cutting plane line intersects the this construction line which is nothing but this line height at various points let's give the name of that point so again uh, go to the layer to give the name and test that will select at the current layer come out text here uh, specify a point See here, uh, I am going to write the height of the line. Say it's, it's it would be minimum size, so so one point five, and the angle now. Angle I am making here forty five degree. Why uh, the line is forty five degree along that we will write. So it may be given as uh, forty five degrees. Let's see how it is. So this is the point. This point lies on 12 bow point. So let's consider it is uh, the L point. This particular point lies on 1 and 11. 1 corresponding to that give the name A, comma, K. K represents the 11 O line. K lies on 11 O line and similarly here it is here it is B comma J then C comma I D comma A A 
E, comma, G, and this last point is F. Then we will draw the projection line from all these points to this circle so that in the top view also we can get the corresponding points. Go to the layer, use other types of projection line so that we can distinguish it. It is for betterment of understanding only, otherwise all, all, all this line is thin continuous line. Our nomenclature is complete, so give the enter and here then go to the layer, use a new layer, the name is again projection line. It is not a uh, thick, rather try to maintain. Name projection line is overlapping. Uh, let's give projection line 2. Projection line 2. Okay. Then continuous line. Again, it is the continuous line only the thickness will be changed to again 0.15 only will change the color so that we can differentiate between these two so what color can be chosen here blue yes deep blue has not been used so let's uh, use this uh, deep blue color and make this as the current layer again Then draw the lines. Line. This L point lies on O12 line. So in this view also it should lie on to O12 line. And hence our projection line will start from this and then extend it up to O2 line, this center line itself is O2 line, O12 line. Now if the line, this line is not perpendicular like this one, 90 degree automatically, then use uh, press F8 so that it is, F8 is the ortho option, means the line that you will draw will be horizontal or vertical only. Okay, then this, enter. Again the next line we we'll start from here and extend it. It will pass through both 1 and 11. So up to this. Next it will pass through both 2 and 10. We are having a number of intersecting points which is the locus point of the top view of the sectional plane. So these are the points. To locate that, let's draw some, uh, uh, let's say encircle these points. So for that we will use another layer. So the name of the layer is locus point and uh, the, the thickness, reduce the thickness, say so it is uh, 0 0.20, this is the thickness, line type continuous, color white, okay. So if it is the local current, then uh, draw the circle, here uh, which one is? This is the first locus point. Let's consider the radius of this circle is 
zero point five enter. So this is one locus point. Then next point is this again zero point five enter locus point this. Without repeated drawing, we also can copy this. So before copying, select this copy option, copy, click here, move to hot point, this point, click again, copy it, again here, we will copy, copy, copy. Our copying is complete. Now we are getting the locus point all. But problem is the intersection at O9 line we are not getting because if we draw the projection line from here it will overlap this O9 line. So we are not getting any intersection and that's why we will use a different method. The method is we'll draw a line from here up to the last lateral height, slant height here and then up to the center line here. After drawing that, we have drawn using a different layer these lines. Then draw an arc, here to here is the radius, then extend this up to the center line. Then this is the point of intersection, means this is the locus point. So now we will copy this. Select, copy, click, this is another point, okay. Now we will join the all these uh, locus points to get the internal shape. Finally join all these uh, locus points to get uh, the top view. Use the uh, curve line. It is also called spline. Select the points. Hence, the top view is complete. Now, I have to make a 45 degree angle line that indicates that this particular curve is generated due to making this section of the cone. Give the name of all these locus point using text in the layer. So, uh, text. The view that we have drawn here is the front view, the sectional front view and the sectional top view. In this top view, 
this is the sectional plane developed but this sectional plane is the projected section plane means whatever plane is developed here it is the this is the top view of that plane now to get the true shape of this section that is made there we have to look perpendicular to this surface perpendicular means we have to take the projection line perpendicular to this cutting plane and the width of the section will be this width draw the projection line from all the sectional plane which is perpendicular to this cutting plane so this let's uh, consider we have taken uh, the green projection line from the layer then the perpendicular means already the cutting plane is 45 degree angle so 45 degree plus uh, this 90 degree is equals to 135 degree if it is 135 degree then that is the right angle yes now it is showing here 137 yes this is okay and similarly draw rest of the lines also or we can copy this line center line type is not continuous thin it is a dashed line chain thin line it is also called chain thin line uh, i am selecting this Now copy these lines before that select it then copy now click here then move then the next point move there So our copying is complete. Draw a center line parallel to the cutting plane line. Means that will be again 45 degree angle. Let's consider this is the center line. The angle should be 45. So this 45 degree and the distance from the cutting plane line is arbitrary now i have to take this width here so how to take for that let's draw a line q leader write down the q leader or if you only write q uh, sometime q leader option is there then uh, this the half of this dimension is up to this so let's take half of this distance means from the center line distance of k point how we are taking it click it this yes. enter now i have taken this particular measurement and this part and this part is equal so now the same measurement i will take it here the procedure to take this same measurement one of the procedure is just copy this figure and move here then copy this dimension again click come to the desired location see it is uh, that particular desired and location now it needs to rotate 
the method of this rotation is click rotate again click here you see uh, the uh, this 45 degrees by default see if you enter it will take 45 degrees okay so it is the right position then again move because the point should be started from here so again move before moving click move then again click now yes right position similarly we will copy uh, this figure click and here Okay. And the similar method will be followed for BJ length, OI length, and DH length. Means again, this uh, Q leader. Click here. This. Enter. Then copy and finally place there like by the similar method I have copied all this segment AK, BJ, OI, DH and remember at point A and F there is no length only a point. Now, if we want to <coughs> place the locus point of that curve, let's uh, copy this particular figure, uh, this uh, encircling, copy, again click, and then come to the desired place. So what's the point we have identified? This is one of the point, locus point. Then it is here. Then this is the point. This is the point. You have to notice when this uh, signal is coming here. Yes, now it will be there. And carefully notice that uh, green square. When it will appear, it will be placed on that position only. You have to move the mouse. Yes, now the green square is visible. So if you click here, then on that point, it will be placed. Okay. Yes. Now there is no point here. We are having no point. Still. Yes. Another point. Yes. Enter and some mismatching is there. Now by uh, copying this uh, by movement command, we can move these points. Yes. Now, yes. Select. Okay. Similarly, we will transfer this point also. In the drawing sheet, actually, we will measure this length using the divider or compass 
and then it will be copied here. But as no divider is there and that's why I have taken the help of all these types of lines. So it is not necessary now. Delete the select and uh, press deal. And since we are having all these locus point also, so we'll delete it. And now give the name of all these locus point based on these points means L, A, K, B, J and so on. After getting all the locus point of the true shape of the area, join all this locus point. Again, use this spline command. Specify the first point. Uh, it is better not to take the first point at the corner, rather say at the middle. Then just uh, pass over this, this. So finally this is the true shape and we are getting a clear difference between this shape here and this shape. And now the last task is some additional uh, extension line is there we have to remove it. So use the trim option give the trim command or uh, from here. Just uh, move it towards the line and click left click automatically that will cancels out okay then the last task is as this particular plate is developed due to making the section means cutting so it is called the section plan uh, section plane and this section plane is denoted by a hash line which is 45 degree angle medium thickness line. So let's draw that 45 degree angle medium thickness line here. Now we will draw the hash line for this sectional plane and uh, this uh, particular plane. The method to draw the hash line is use the line command already in the layer I have uh, selected a different layer for this hash line let's consider the starting point here is this you can take a big lines okay and uh, the angle is 135 enter so this is the hash line move it or it's better to copy this maintain equal equal distance uh, points here almost apparently as per the visual inspection you need not measure exact distance between any of these two lines
our hashline is complete then we have to trim trim command is there already yes. within this text it is uh, top to trim rather uh, cancel all these uh, lines and then copy copy then draw all this line again this Enter. Trim option now. After trimming, the drawing is complete. Now give the title of the drawings. Text as specified the first point, and then the size will increase this size. Say five. The angle forty five. That's okay. Then write down two shape. Of the section. Okay. Then this is the and then again text. Size. Angle now it is zero angle, so I down here. Sectional font view. and here it is. Text Section Hence, we have completed our drawing with the help of AutoCAD. Apart from these command that I have used here, some other command is also there. It is very operation handy and if you try, you can find out the commands. Some commands you have to write down and some is ready uh, available like uh, our Microsoft Office. And if you want to get some other options apart from all these, then you can try here whether that is available or not. It's like a, a Google searching. If you uh, type, uh, say, leader, only write down LE. If leader is there, then leader or LE, uh, all the word is available now. Then you can uh, find out what particular line you need. 
okay that's uh, all about this uh, autocad drawing for finally i have to give the dimension dimension means here the height of this uh, cone and the diameter of the circle and also we need to mention uh, this particular angles let's see how it can be given a separate layer i have met and also turn on o snap so what is that let's see uh, go for dimension the command is uh, dim or directly it can uh, choose uh, from here if we choose from here so this is uh, linear dimensioning now dim linear dimension means uh, say this point we want to find out the apex and then this this point or here whatever is it click and uh, keep it and you notice it is 79.25 so it is not the exact dimension that i want to show here it, it will be 80 and the exact point is not taking here so delete it, it and then go for o snap The function of this command is turn on endpoints and also the center. Okay. Then what is happening? When the linear dimension is selected, you see a green square is appearing at the apex. Means automatically this end point is selected. And another end point I can make here here or here if we take from here then the yellow line so this dimension line will appear at the top it's better because the yellow li line here the dimension line overlapping the boundary line it is not desirable so delete it and then again this particular point and this point then you notice here exactly the dimension is 80 only 80 is the dimension as it is a linear dimension though i have taken uh, this point and this point but dimension will show that linear indeed linear direction either horizontal or vertical then the diameter in the dimension another option is there for the diameter select the circle click here and the dimension the diameter is showing there now the value here is not quite visible to make it visible you can modify the dimension style command dimension and then the dimension style go for modification and what modification text text means this 80 will be written at what height let's consider it is uh, say 6 is the height of the text and the arrow size also you want to increase it arrow size is uh, again say 6 and the other option the uh, also can be changed here arrowhead uh, type and various things can be changed but I have not changed all this ok now you see this uh, arrowhead uh, size increased and definitely it is the narrow arrowhead and the dimension 80 After completion of our dimensioning, our drawing looks like this. And remember here, some other things here we have mentioned the line thickness and that is showing in this figure. But for that, another important option here, customization. Our line width will be implemented here. 
line width is on. If we of this and from there line width on and uh, here it is the show or hide line width. This column, notice, press, the line width is there, but it is not visible. If we click here, the line width will be there. It will be visible. Now, I will explain you another important application of AutoCAD, that is how to draw isometric view. The method is go to view, then uh, click here in this cube sign and here you are seeing that it is the front view which is in 2D or frame. Now if you click on this home sign here, then you are getting that in the symbol left, front and top, all these three views is showing means it is the isometric view and this three coordinate x y and z now let's start drawing say i want to draw a cube cuboid using the lines select the line specify the point by x y and z coordinate say putting here x y and z or simply click anywhere then along this put the value of the length let's consider the length this green line indicates it is the along the dimension along x axis only so uh, place this and type say a uh, 10 is the length enter so this is the 10 length this is very big scroll down and move it okay then it is the y direction say in the y direction it is uh, 15 so write uh, 15 here then again in the x direction it is 10 then just click here to match these points again enter double enter and draw this one the length is uh, say it is uh, 20 here in the x direction again 10 similarly i have to complete this cube This is the complete isometric view of a cuboid. Now this uh, coordinate system is uh, we need to move it. UCS command and move say over here and place. Enter. Let's see as it is the cuboid and easily we can get the top front or, or other view just click here so i am clicking here then we can see the front view so this is the front view again get back to the isometric view i like to see the top view so i am getting this top view so this is the facility this is how we can draw the isometric view and uh, it is very operation friendly that that i have told you and uh, so uh, so many op um, applications and commands are there and by default if you practice with this the rest of the application you can do it this is all about the autocad and uh, many many thanks uh, for your patience to listen in this lecture 
and next i will bring another lecture for you